Lot Collectors, and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Kamen Rider Core ID Set 02 from Kamen Rider Geats. That's right, throwing it back to Geats here today. Uh, this is a premium Bandai item that I ordered a while ago and just received recently. And it looks like we are getting 10 new Core IDs in this set. And I believe this is the last one that is planned. So we have Kamen Rider Hakubi. This is a cracked version of Nudge Sparrow. This is Kamen Rider Togechi, Kamen Rider Garon, Kamen Rider Lancer. Spinning it around over here, we have Kamen Rider Groovy, Kamen Rider Letter, which is a weird name. I still think that's a weird name. Kamen Rider Bucci, uh, Kamen Rider Chuta, and Kamen Rider Geshi. So most of these guys did not have huge prominent roles in the show. Uh, but they were around, and so we have their core IDs. So pretty standard packaging here, just have, you know, pictures of all of them here on the front and the back. Up here, a little bit of text that I cannot read. Down here, your typical warnings and whatnot. More warnings over here, and then just list the contents over here on the side. So pretty standard packaging. I'm going to go ahead, get everything out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here are our 10 core IDs out of the packaging. Now there's not much to do with these. They are just pieces of plastic. They don't make unique sounds in the driver. They don't make any sounds on their own. And I notice it's a lot of gray and black and white and brown. Just a lot of mundane colors. And then you just got Togechi here, just brilliant blue in a sea of mundane colors. So that's obviously my favorite one. It's really nice blue, but we'll go through them quick. There's not too much to do with them. Um, but we'll take a look at them here quickly. And then I'll probably do a couple in the driver with the, like, you know, buckle they use the most or something like that. So here we have Hakubi. Now, I believe this is Tycoon's sister, if I'm not mistaken, when she finally got her core ID. And it looks really nice. I mean, the paint on the front is very sharp. So I do like the look of that. Next up, we have Bucci, which I believe is a Dalmatian. Uh, I, I think this was just kind of like a no-name character in the background. I don't think this one got much screen time. Uh, we have Letter from, I think, the second or third game. Uh, she did not last long either, but she was around. Then we have uh, Lancer, which is one of Nago's two bodyguards, together with Garun. So pretty cool to have these two. I think they look really great. Again, really nice paint here on the front, so... Happy to have the two of them. Then we have the previously mentioned Togechi, which is just a brilliant blue. I just love this one. This is a really fun color. The white on the front looks fantastic. This one's really, really cool. Really uh, just a beautiful sky blue, which is one of my favorite colors. So I love this one. Then we have a cracked and damaged version of Nudge Sparrow, which of course was a pretty significant character in the show. So this was later on when he went crazy. Next up, we have Geshi, which I believe is a beaver. I think that's a really cool design for the face there, the, the head of the beaver. It's just a really neat design, and uh, it's pretty cool. This is kind of a brown color. Again, this is, I think, was this one of the two that got mind-controlled by Glare, I think? I'd have to go back and check. Here is Groovy, which is another dog. I think he was on the show in passing real quick. I don't think he was another significant character. And then we have Chuta, which I believe is another one of the mind-controlled riders. So I think these two were going around doing damage together when they were mind-controlled by Glare. But just kind of a gray plastic here. So again, not much to do with them, but I like collecting these because they're very easy to collect. They're rather inexpensive. They're fun. And uh, it's just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's fun to have a bunch of these. I don't really know why. I do wish that there was some kind of pin system and they would make different sounds on the driver, but I get it. Um, which is why they've started doing those sound core IDs where the sounds are actually in the core ID itself. Um, I got one or two of those sets. I think I have them up if you want to check them out on the channel. But uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead. We'll do a couple in the driver, just like, you know, more notable ones. I don't have any of the smaller buckles handy. So that's going to pretty much knock out, uh, I think, Hakubi used uh, Claw, so probably won't see that. I think Letter used Propeller. Um, I think one of these guys, one of these guys used Hammer and one of these guys used Sonic Arrow, I think. So 
won't be able to see those. But I know that um, Garun, I think, used music or beat. I think Lancer used Fever for that one time they almost transformed. Uh, Bucci, Bucci, I think, was another one that used um, a smaller buckle. So I don't think that's going to happen. I think Groovy used Ninja. Obviously, Nudge Sparrow used Monster. And I think uh, Togechi had Zombie before Buffa did. So we will, for fun, we'll do a couple transformations with these five. First up, we'll do Nudge Sparrow. It's kind of funny. Sometimes it makes me do it twice, which I think is what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to close his eyes and then open it again, but it doesn't always need two times. Next up, we'll do Garun. Sadly, my desire driver is starting to go. And now the other half of the duo with Lancer. Next, Groovy. And last up, Togechi. I just think the blue looks so good with the purple. Yeah. 
So that's Common Rider Core ID Set 02. Not really much to do with them. They are just pieces of plastic, but they're relatively inexpensive and they're fun to collect. It's just kind of neat to have a ton of these different things. That way, if you're doing displays or if you just want to have fun and switch it up a little bit so you're not always using the same Core ID when you use the Desire driver, I just think they're kind of neat. Like I said, I think this was around $25 or so before uh, middleman fees and whatnot. So really not that expensive when you figure that you're getting 10 of them. It's kind of like 2 to $3 a piece before fees and shipping and everything like that. So your mileage is going to vary. I mean, at this point, you know, we have moved on from Geats into Gachard. You might not really care about Geats anymore, but Geats was probably one of the best series in recent years, in my opinion. So I still like getting new stuff from them. The premium Bandai stuff from Geats is still continuing to trickle in. So we'll be revisiting Geats from time to time. And I loved Geats. I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm always up for a revisit. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.